<laughs> it's so quiet. See, you're not playing no music in the background, nothing. Normally I do, but I just don't want to wake up anyone. I don't know. I'm also kind of lazy now. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, how was your 2023, madam? I think it was okay. How about you? Pretty good. Um, what happened for your 2023? Anything exciting? Mm, I finished my prerequisites to become a, ra a radiologist. So I like now have the stuff to go into that program. Um, I had cousins born. Okay. And that's about. It. I don't know random stuff that I probably just am not thinking about, but um, my friends got in relationships and are very happy, and that's very good because you're not in one, huh? Because you're not in one. Not that but because they struggled to get like good people and now they finally have it what about you and it's me i'm alone why um my expectations don't typically fit everyone are they too high i can tell you them okay uh, be loyal, trustful, communicate, be honest, and, like, be caring. Those, uh, are, those are all very vague things, though. I mean, be honest. Like, <laughs> who's going to be like, hey, you want to get with me? I'm a liar. Nobody's going to do that. So when you say be honest, that's just a typical characteristic I think everybody looks for. You know, people don't go, you know what? I want to date somebody who's manipulative. You know? And then you say trustworthy. That's just saying the same thing over again. And then loyal. Once again, most people would go for that. So it's not like your, your expectations aren't anything like outside of the ordinary. So there's got to be another reason you still can't find somebody because those are just normal characteristics that you can find in anyone. I don't know what to tell you, but I've, that's it. So you try to tell me every man who's come across, he's like, I can't date her because she wants somebody who's honest. I don't think it's that. I think maybe my personality just doesn't clash with theirs. Um, also, like, I do have to be, like, kind of physically attracted to you, but more personality-wise, I guess. Um... I don't know, not, I don't really have guys coming up to me and asking for my number or anything, so that could be another thing. I've gotten up to a guy and asked him, and then he was not, like, he was, like, a couple of years different, like, and he was younger, and I was like, oh, I gotta go, I'm, I'm a little bit older, so, yeah. Uh, right. Let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. I want you to be honest. Okay. If you meet a man making forty thousand dollars a year, are you okay with that? Yeah, because I, I think that's how much I make, or I think it might be sixty or fifty. I don't know. So yeah. Okay, so if y'all were together, you're okay I with. Honestly, I used to really like that I made more than a guy. So I'm fine, but now I'm like, it's okay if a guy makes more than me. Okay, so that first thing you just said was a red flag. Why would you want the guy to make less than you? That sounds like a power thing. I don't know. It was. It was. But now I've, like, that was, like, about, I was thinking about that, like, three years ago. So I've learned a lot, and I'm, like, I don't know why, and I work through my shit, and I, I don't really care. If you make more than me or if I make the same, it doesn't matter as long as, like, we're there for each other and grow together. Okay, so you're okay with if you were to quit working for any reason, you break your leg, the family crumbles, right? Because Why? because your money would be significant. 
That means 50-50. That means if you quit working, it all falls apart. You okay not with that? Necessary. If it did, if it did fall apart because of money, like, and we went into poverty, I would be still with the person. You know, I don't know. But okay, so you're okay with that? <clears throat> any height requirements? Any looks requirements? You say you got to be attracted to him. So, what are you attracted to? I'm attracted to personality. I've noticed that. Because <laughs> lots of people are like, you, you could do better and shit. And I'm just like, no, I like the person I'm with. You know? Who, who's they? You mean your other girls? Other women? Girls and guys. And those guys say that you can do better. You didn't date any of them? When was your last relationship? In September. And why did that end? Um, I don't know. I think he didn't want to have commitment because two days prior to our breakup, he showed me to all of his cousins and to his grandmother. I've already met all of his other family at this point. And we went to a rave together for two days. So we were there together for a long time. And uh, he ended things saying I was too codependent, even though we lived in two different states. And I wouldn't call every day or text him all the time. So I'd keep, like, I would ask him, like, when he said this, can you give me an example? He couldn't. And then he also said, um, my happiness relied on him. I have like, I live here and I have like 20 plus family members and I have like 10 plus friends. So I asked him again, like, why do you think that he couldn't tell me? And then a couple of other stuff like that and kind of explain. But prior to this, he talked to his friend that was a girl. And then we talked at first. And he was like, I'm sorry for acting like a four-year-old and stuff. And then he called me back again and ended things. But what really started it all... Sorry, I'm everywhere. My brain's like... What really started it all was I was talking about stuff I learned or was talking about in... I think it was my English class. Yeah, I think it was my English class. And it was very like, you know, taxes are high. People struggle to find, you know, payments for houses. And he was like, that's not always the case and blah, blah, blah. You know, like the opposite kind of side, but not really opposite, just showing like another side. And I was like, yeah, I get it. But like some people have to work multiple jobs and some people are born into poverty and shit and it's like hard to get out type you know and he just we just kind of disagreed but then we agreed and stuff and then after the whole conversation was over he looked like he was like this and then all of a sudden he's like so you know like sad and i was like hey babe are you okay is everything good and then I was about to take a nap because it was after school and he hung up and I thought like maybe it's because I'm taking a nap or he's just frustrated or something's going on so I'll just text him when I wake up because maybe he needs the space and he texts me like something like I just don't like how pessimistic you are or some, something and I was like Oh, okay. And then uh, he texted me again and changed what he meant. He was like, actually, I was upset that you asked if I was okay. Because when my mother asks if I'm okay, she's digging to search for a problem. I am not his mother. I am generally, gen genuinely concerned about whether he was okay or not tried to explain this to him still mad kept trying to communicate through him, to him through the whole day and like was like call me please he would text me every two hours after i text him or like you know 
And at some point, he called me at 9 p.m. driving somewhere. I couldn't hear him or see his face or his body language. So I was like, please just call me when you get home. And he lives in Vermont, so stuff's like 30 minutes, 40 minutes, even an hour away because it's all like over. So he's like, yeah, it's going to take me like 30 minutes here and 30 minutes back, so an hour for me to be back and call you. And then he got home and he's like, I, I'm back, but I'm on the phone with um, Riley, his girlfriend. That's a friend, you know. And I'm like, okay, I know you're on the phone with her, but I think we need to talk. We haven't talked all day, really, and it's bothering me. And he goes, I can't. She's having, like, a mental breakdown. And I'm like, you know what? I'm kind of done. I've been having a breakdown all day and you haven't give, given me the day of time to even talk to me. And he goes, he doesn't text me for like maybe 20 minutes. So at least he called me back then, but he called me and I'm like, this is how I feel. This is my perspective and these are my boundaries. And all he had to say was like, I'm sorry for acting like a four year old type stuff. That's all he had to say. Yeah, but then the thing that happened that made us break up happened two hours later. After we, I thought we were solved and I told him, like my boundaries was like, please just tell me when you need space and time because I will give that to you. Just don't ignore me because that's hurtful to me. And he understood it. I think it's just stuff that was maybe going on, but... um. He he calls me two hours later saying, like, you know what? I think we're going apart and stuff. And, like, what I said, he said I was, like, dependent or whatever. I don't even know. But it was, like, our first big argument. And it just, like, really ended stuff. Like... He's like, I think we're going going down two separate paths and stuff and shit. I don't know. It's just, it was hurtful. I, I really miss his family too. His sister had a little dino crocheted for me and stuff, but I haven't. We only dated. This is gonna seem like crazy to you, cause like I remember all this stuff, but I really cared deeply for him, and we only dated for like three months. Hmm. And um, I really, really cared about him, not like anyone else. And I thought he was different because he would be like, I like how you're so honest about how you feel. And then yet he says, um, I think you're too dependent and <coughs> basically like really touchy. But he said like he was okay with me feeling stuff or whatever. So yeah. Um, that's how the relationship was. That's like how it ended exactly. And we got along every day before that. And anytime I felt like something, I would be like, no, this is something I need to figure out because if I'm insecure about this, there's no way I'm going to make it into anything else. And I want this person. So I'm going to solve this insecurity. And it, it got like so good. And I wasn't worried. I was actually never worried. I just trusted him. And after thinking about it a lot, I think maybe the girl that he was friends with that he talked to maybe have said something. And, like, I get it because, like, friends really want to protect their, you know, friends and stuff. But I don't know. I don't. That was my perspective on all of it, to be honest. And, yeah. I'm going to be honest with you as well. Uh, I feel like you doing all that feelings and being open and being honest. Um, I think you were telling the truth. A lot of men, we just don't. The whole feelings and opening up all the time is just, I'm not trying to be harsh. It it just, it gets too much and it gets annoying. It just does. I mean, we, we, we just because that's not who we are. You know, we expect you to do that with your girlfriends. We are not here to... Obviously, if something's really bothering oh, you know, I got a cup just like that. But, you know, if something's really bothering you, you know, 
fine. Let's talk about it. But it can't be every day. I experienced. Yeah, no, Go ahead. It wasn't every day. It wasn't 24-7. It would be little things. And sometimes he would dig because I'd be working on myself and doing my stuff. And he would notice everything. And he'd be like, what's wrong? What's this? What's this? And I'm just like, no, I'm fine. I'm okay. But after he asked me for like the seventh time, I'd be like, you know what? It's, it's just this. I'm not the person to call you when I have a slightly bad day and I just can't fucking take it. No, I came from a household that would throw shit. And um, my brother and many of us have tried to hurt or harm ourselves in the past, you know. So, no, I'm not going to call you for something like... Oh my god, someone was such an asshole to me today. Like, I can't bear with it. No, it would be like, genuinely, I'm trying to work on something on myself. And it's kind of hard. And I'm struggling. And that's about it. I don't know. I wasn't really sad about anything. I felt very comfortable and happy. So, yeah. Well, something became too much for him. Um, nonetheless, how old are you now? I'm 20. Hmm, okay, you got time. You got time. Just don't let the, uh, you going to college get to your head. You know, when I was in college, the, especially people who go into your field, uh, medical field, y'all can be sometimes the hardest women to deal with. I don't know what it is, but y'all get that inflated ego. Uh, wow, I'm doing this. And when you get into the real world and you walk up to somebody, let's say you say, hey, I'm a radiologist to somebody who works at Walmart. You know what they're going to say to you? Okay. <laughs> it doesn't mean anything. And so I just want you to be careful when you do get into that field that you just stay humble because, and I'm not saying you're going to do this. I'm just getting it in your head. I'm just telling you through my experience. And then obviously I speak to people every day. Uh, and I talked about this earlier too on my broadcast that some reason women who get into nursing and all that kind of stuff, they just, they end up alone. People just don't like dealing with it. Um, so, you're going, and that's why I asked you earlier about if you could be okay with a man making $40,000 a year because of the field you're going into. Because you're going to come across a, a lot of women who are in your field who are going to be like, hey, I'm this, I'm that, I'm a radiologist, you know? I'm a PhD. It's, it's like it's that important, but it's just, it's just, it doesn't mean anything to a man. Because no matter how much money you make, be honest with you, and I'm just saying this to you, I don't know you personally. I don't know, I, don't, I doubt you think this way. But this is what happens. So let's say you make $100,000 a year in iowa so it means something because a hundred thousand in cali wouldn't mean anything but a hundred thousand dollars in iowa right that money doesn't mean anything to a man because you're more than likely not gonna spend that money on him right most women don't spend money on men as like men spend money on women that's just how the dynamic works so if you get with the man who's making three hundred thousand dollars a year is he gonna date a woman make a hundred thousand dollars a year no. You know why? Because she has to work to do that. If he wants to build a family and legacy, he's not going to get the woman who works all the damn time. It doesn't make any sense. If he can have any woman he wants making $300,000 being in the top 3%, who is he going to pick? The woman who's going to stay home and take care of everything, you know, and get on his program. He's not trying to deal and have these intellectual conversations about, oh, this and that. No, I'm not trying to do all that, man. I'm just not. So, that's the reason I brought that up earlier on you. And uh, I don't know, man. Uh, I got to ask. <laughs> the the piercing you got going on there, is that something you wear out in public? Mm -hmm. Okay. I, we'll let you know that's only going to attract a certain caliber of men. What kind? Men who want fun girls. What about women? Are you trying to attract women? I like women and men. Are you gonna? Are you, do you want to marry a woman? I don't know yet, but I want to try to date one. So yeah, that's where I'm at, I guess. I would typically. I'm looking to probably marry a man. Okay. It's more. Like, Let's book. It's more part. like seventy men and 30% women or even less. It's more like 80% men and 20% women. So you probably Just should... because of my experiences. Yeah, then you probably should 
focus on what the men think then because women aren't going to really be your priority. The way you're even talking about it, you're more than likely to want to marry a man. It's not like you just want to give with the girl out of curiosity. I promise you. It's, it's... I've gotten with a girl. I just want to date a girl out of curiosity. Yeah. It sucks. You ever dated? You date, You say you did date a girl? <laughs> it sucks. Hmm? Women don't like dating women. Have you ever met lesbians? They hate dating each other. They try to, they, normally when a lesbian dates another woman, they try to find a woman who's what? Masculine. So it's like dating a man. They don't tend to go for the most. A woman that looks like a woman. Yeah, but they're still, they're still looking for certain traits. They don't tend to go for, they either, what do you normally see in a lesbian couple? You normally see a very masculine woman with a very feminine woman. So they're pretty much still looking for the exact same thing, right? I mean, it's not, not really a difference. They're just getting it out in woman form. But it yeah. all yeah, I agree. There's more of that than rather feminine and feminine, you know. Well, masculine and masculine. I, I'm a feminine and feminine. I like my woman to look pretty. Um, so that's how I know I'm a little bit, like, different than that stereotypical. I don't want someone to look like a woman and have, like, a shaved haircut. I want someone with, like, long, pretty hair, big boobs, um, nice personality, goofy artistic yeah artistic see that that's when i feel like your expectations get a little wild because you're asking for a lot in one person i found someone like that right now that's why i'm saying that sorry you're, so you just said you wanted to marry a man though so that, does that relationship even matter well you say you want to marry a man so does that relationship you have with that person does it even matter i i typically want to marry a man but if maybe I feel that certain way, because I'm still finding myself. I mean, I'm 20. Um, I know most of myself, but not entirely, I guess. So I maybe would like to marry a woman, too. I don't know. You want to have kids? Yeah, I think. No, nah, uh, at some point, I didn't want to have any. <laughs> but if it's the right person, maybe. Yeah. What is that? What does that mean? If it's the right person. Do you have kids? I had a son. He passed away. Are but, you still with the same person? Yeah. But I didn't think I'm going to have a kid if it's the right person. You know, I, I thought about marriage first. I, I would never think about, I always thought about marriage first, then kids. So obviously, if I'm having kids with somebody I married, then they would be that person, right? How old are you? You're not answering any of my questions. If I married somebody and had a baby with them, wouldn't that initially already make them the right person? Are you planning on having kids outside of marriage? No. Okay. So when you say I would have kids with the right person, that's just... It's... it's, it's um. It, it, I don't know. I was just trying to say it. it doesn't make a lot of sense to say that. When I hear people say that, it's like, what do you mean the right person? I mean, your soulmate? What does that mean? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to have you explain it. Like, I don't know if I'll find my soulmate, but I may find someone that I do love. That's, That's what I mean. Like, I love a lot of people, and there's different, like, types of love that I have for people. And I don't know if I will find that one person that I'm, like, I feel like we could have kids together. I don't know how else to explain well, that. Why would you feel pessimistic about that? Does, pessimistic? Because, yeah. like, I didn't want to have kids for a long time, I guess. And it wasn't out of being pessimistic. It was out of being, like, I want to do my own stuff. But obviously, maybe, like, stuff is changing as I'm getting older because... If I want a kid at 20, that's a little bit concerning to me. Why? Because I'm not ready to have a kid, and I'm not economically, with all my money situation, not prepared. I'm also not married to anyone, nor is anyone dating me. You thought you said you were dating that girl. You just said you found somebody that was all that stuff. Yeah, I'm talking to her. Oh, talking. So that relationship's nothing as of right now. As of right now, yes. Okay. 
Fair We're enough. In the so you believe in soulmates is what you were saying earlier. Yeah. And that's going to doom you. Because, because soulmates means that there's one person out there for you. So that means anybody. My you... best friend, my fucking soulmate. My other best friend is my soulmate. There's like different forms of it in my head, I guess. Not that I would go and have a kid with them, but like. That's contradictory to what you said. Then you said you don't know if I'll find my soulmate. That's what you said. But if yeah, anybody can be that, then romantic re relationship as a soulmate, you know, and it doesn't necessarily have to be that. What I mean, what I need in a relationship is someone that can work with me and grow and work through things with me. And that's willing to do that because people grow and change. And I do believe that. Yeah, but that could be anyone. I mean, what you're saying is, I want to find somebody who's going to get with me and grow with me. Once again, that's almost every relationship you would get into. Like, it's, it's, I understand what you're trying to say. It sounds very poetic. All right. Someone that would stay with me, I guess. Is that better? In, no, because that's the hope, isn't it? I mean, hear what I'm saying. Imagine I'm saying that to you. You know what I want in a girl? Somebody who will stay with me and uh, stay married to me of course <laughs> what other person would I want am I going to get somebody who doesn't want to stay with me That you wouldn't even go for that doesn't make any sense so I, it's like you don't actually know what you want because you're just saying stuff that most characteristics everybody looks for trustworthy, honest willing to grow with me, build with me stay with me it's almost like you're saying I want a person who uh, is human yep so that could be anyone. I mean, you should, you should be able to just walk out onto the street and find a guy or a girl and just be like, hey, how you doing? Well, I don't know what to tell you because it just isn't working for me. Are you saying men are turning you down? Yes. And or men see that I've tried dating apps, tried not using dating apps. No one comes up to me. When I go up to people, it's just like, Eh, you know, and I, I do, okay, maybe this is a high standard. I do typically want a guy to come up to me and just like talk to me and maybe start off and be friends and see how it goes. I don't know. Yeah, I, I would like that a lot. So not one guy has hit your DMs that was, you thought was even worth a date? My DMs? Yeah, you say you go on dating apps oh. and all that. So no guys messaged yeah. you and said that was worth the date? No, yeah. Guys have messaged me on Tinder and Hinge, but they're looking for something else, even though I look on the profile and it says, like, relationship and mine's relationship. It doesn't typically work out. Like, the last guy I was talking about, was from Hinge and stuff, and it just didn't work out. I don't know if it's because of dating app situation and people, because I've learned that people typically on dating apps don't want to date, so I'm trying to stay away from that now. And no men approach you in person? Hmm. And you don't think that goes back to what I said earlier? About the piercing? About what? Yeah, because I haven't had this piercing my whole life. You're only 20, though, and you were dating a guy in September. How long did y'all date? Three months, right? Uh, three and months. you had a relationship before that? Mm hmm How long was that one? So, before Cameron, it was Tyler. Tyler was like three months, too. Have you had any relationships past three months? Mm-hmm. Okay, how long was one? Okay. Three years and a two-year one. S starting at what age? Uh, starting at 15. Okay. To 17. So, so basically, puppy love, but, like, that was the longest, you know, 
So at 15, you dated somebody for three years, then you dated somebody for two years. After that, yep. Okay. And then you dated somebody for three months, then you dated somebody for three months. So six months. Plus the five years. So for well, five and a half yeah, years. Technically, I dated Cam for like two months. I'm like rounding all the stuff up. And technically, the two-year guy was almost three years. And the two-year person was like over a year more towards two years. So it's not like exact, exact. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> I should have probably been like... I just don't remember every, like, you know, end, end date. So you've only really been an adult for two years. And out of those two years that you've been an adult, you were dating somebody for at least three months and then two months within that. So when did you get the piercing? I got the piercing at 18 when I turned 18. Okay. So you say Do you, you have... Do you think it's all because of one piercing? I think it makes a difference. Yes. I'm telling you. I'm telling you this. When men see that piercing, you said they're not approaching you. So what do you think it is? You think you're just ugly? I mean, what, what else do you think it could be? I've taken out my piercing and for a while and people still don't approach me. So. But they knew you, right? You don't just live in a city where nobody knows you, right? I do, kind of. Right. And you take pictures with this? transferred so it's i'm trying to make like friends with girls and stuff and like i do have a few friends that i text but not like hang out because we all like commute to it because there's no dorms you know type situation listen i'm not trying to be rude or anything i really not you can do whatever you want to do with this piercing or whatever i'm just telling you the big things that come up are normally nose piercings and chest tattoos you don't have that so you're good on that. But those are the two things that men are going, I don't know. You know, it's just, it just immediately comes to either that or you, they think you're a fun girl. That's the two things that normally pop up. It's just, I'm just telling you what it is. From a man's perspective, who talks to men every day, been talking to men since I was your age. You know, so. Nothing new under the sun. But you can live whatever life you want to. Get out there and keep trying. It's cool. There's going to be men who like it. I'm just saying your options are a little bit lower than they could be because you're still young, you're still attractive, but that is going to weed out certain caliber of men. If you're looking for a man who is making a certain amount of money, he's not going to go for that. That's why I asked you earlier, are you okay with the man who makes $40,000? You're probably not going to find a man who's making top 10% money. He's not going to go for a girl like you. So you'll never come and across. You're saying? He's, what? He's saying it's all because of that. No, because he has tons of options. If he can pick a girl who doesn't have that piercing, guess who he's going to pick? Most women want men who make that kind of money, right? Right. 90% of women want 10% of men, if you look at the statistic. So guess what? If he has the option to pick girl with piercing, girl without piercing. It's just like, am I going to pick the girl who has blue hair or the girl who has her natural hair? Am I going to pick the girl who has chest tattoos or the girl who doesn't have chest tattoos? Who are they going to pick? They're normally going to pick the one who's probably as clean as possible. Because if you get one nose piercing, you're probably going to get more piercings, right? They think you're going to go further. Then you can start putting them in your ears. And then you might get a lip one. That's what we think. I'm just letting you know. That, because that's typically what happens. Women who get that nose piercings, they start going wild. You ever thought about getting more piercings? No. After this one, I've kind of been like, I don't want any more. Maybe my ears, mm -hmm. but that's about it. Do you guys not like girls with ear piercings then? Like an like a earlobe piercing? Yeah. No, that's feminine. Oh. Why would they not like that? That looks feminine. It looks great. But then a nose piercing doesn't. Yeah. Or it, it doesn't the right. It looks more obscene, yeah. Most people don't wear nose piercings, right? But most women do wear ear piercings. Mm, recently, my generation does wear nose piercings. Statistically, how many people do you think wears nose piercings in your generation? Give me just a random number in your head. Um, almost like probably 40% of people. You think 40% of women wear nose piercings? In my generation, like my age group. 
Okay, so from 20 to 24, you think 40% of those kids wear nose piercings? 20 to 24, like probably 18 to 20. <laughs> okay, so in that two year gap, just two years, 18 to 20, you think from anybody who's from 18 to 20, those women, 40% of them wear nose piercings? Yeah, because when I go on TikTok, that's about how many I see on there. Yeah. TikTok, uh, TikTok is and not. Also, the, TikTok is friend, not the real world. You can never compare TikTok to reality. Two of my friends wear them. People I see at college wear them. Um, yeah. We we'll just look it up. Since you think that, in two years, just that two-year little gap there. I'm telling you, the vast majority of the world does not wear nose piercings. That's not what I'm trying to say. 19% of women. 19% of all women have nose piercings. So guess what? In your generation, that number would be even less. Because 19% of all women. But that's still a lot. What did I say, though? I said most people don't. That means... 51% would be most, right? So for it to be most people have nose piercings, it'd have to be 51%, right? That'd be over 50. I said most people don't. 19% is not most people. That means 81% of women do not wear nose piercings. I never said that isn't most people. I'm just shocking. I'm just shocked at the fact that out of all women, it's 19%. You know, I would have thought it would be a little bit less. You said 40 percent of my generation it, but yes but listen one more time 19 percent is all women so you don't think that it would be a less percentage if i just broke it down to just y'all in that two year well no yeah i was i was wrong but i'm still surprised that even though i did say that it was still that for all women you're gonna be like yeah because 40% would make it a lot more than 19%. But yeah, I kind of just said a ballpark thing, thought about it, was like, nah, can't really be that much, but 19% was still a lot. What? Yeah, if I, no, I would think I was setting my expectations higher, if you know what I mean. Yeah, but I, that's where we're disagreeing, though. I would say it's less. Uh, most 18 year, old, 18 year old girls aren't going to get nose piercings. They're not, 40% of them have- aren't walking in. Do you know how many do, though? Like, is there, like, a way that you can search that up or no? Is it just, like, it's pe- probably pe- just People don't tend to do 18 to 20 when they do statistics. They have to be a little bit more general than that, or it makes a statistic kind of useless, doesn't it? Yes. Right. That's why we went with the generalization, right? Right. So, as I said, do what you want, but I am saying that most women don't have that tiktok is not a world you can say can even give you that kind of number if but i'm gonna just ask this and this is a cultural thing so obviously i'm not in this culture or anything but say typically a culture would get piercings and tattoos do you think that's bad for them or good for them or what's your opinion on it that's a culture thing if it's culturally accepted this culturally accepted. I'm telling you about here. I can't tell you about another complete culture where that's normal. There's going to be other cultures too, where they're naked. It's not going to be socially acceptable here. Is it? No. Okay. But so, I'm talking about native Americans. Do you but think like, native Americans? Mm-hmm. Do I think it's okay? It's fine. I don't care if anybody wears the piercing. I'm telling you but certain like, caliber men. I- if I were a Native American coming to you on here saying I'm struggling with finding people, would you say the same argument? Yes. Okay, thank you. That's Then I respect what you're saying, all of it. No. Men who make that type of money tend to be racially loyal anyway. So. No, is, literally. Like, yeah. That's why, um, I don't know, I'm... I like what I like, and I know people don't like this, and Mm -hmm. if you don't like it, and I attract someone who cares that much about what I... You won't. Like, like like that, you know? Because this isn't like... I don't have, like, a bunch of piercings on my face. Mm -hmm. Obviously, if I did, like, I would see that. Um, You don't have to worry about that. If they're not attracted to that, you don't have to worry about attracting them. 
they won't be attracted to you. So it's yeah. not it's not you're concerned. You to me. See, yeah, you get it. Yeah, that's all I'm saying. But I'm saying like, yeah, I don't have tattoos all over my body, but I get what you say you're saying, like I'm not obviously gonna attract every person I possibly could. I I guess that's not my goal. I know it's not your goal, but you say you're having trouble. I'm simply saying there is some variables. It could, it could Part be. of it. I don't know you personally, so I don't know if when people approach you, you're hard to get along with. I don't know that. I don't know anything. Or people will know you in the city, so they're like, hey, that chick right there? No. You know, I don't know. <laughs> especially if you're, and being honest, especially if you're experimenting with women. Guys are going to stay away from that too because they're like, I, I don't know where she's at in her head. You know, that men, you know what I'm saying? If I, yeah. So until you get off of that, Rose, men are going to stay away too because they're going to be like, you know, she could be sweet. Well, I don't way. typically. Only men who are going to want to have sex are going to want to care that you're with the woman because then, you know, they can have more fun with that. But men who are yeah. thinking about getting married, why would they get married to a girl, a woman who's attracted to other women or experimenting? That means right yeah, now you're not ready to get married, so they're not even going to cross your path. They're just going to be like, oh, you know, no. she's she doing her own thing. That's what I'm saying. And that's that's what's going to lower your options. That's what I'm saying. If you're looking for a man who wants to get married, if you're looking for a man who just wants to have fun, I'm sure there's plenty of options. But a married a marriage-minded man, he's, he, there's just flags that have come up, right? So I'm not sure what you want. It doesn't sound like you want a man who you just want to play around with. Sound like you want a man who wants to be seriously with you. You said earlier you want a man who's loyal. Well, guess what? Those things are going to pop up. And they're not even going to talk to you because they're like, not worth it. I have a guy talking to me that's a little bit younger um, that I did find on here. And uh, he's like someone from South Carolina. He wants to play football and stuff. And he's just like your normal person but he never mentions anything about like what i have on my body and stuff i guess so okay it's, Ev it's like every man I doesn't care i said most men not every man i told you you're gonna find a man who's okay with it i said a certain caliber of men you're probably not gonna come across you're get, talking about a man who's younger than you right men don't tend to hit that financial thing i was talking about earlier for you so they're much older. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. So that's why I said certain caliber. An 18-year-old boy. Yeah, of course. But I mean, also I'm like in college, so that's another factor, too. Because not everyone's looking to marry in college. They're looking to experiment. Depending on who you hang around, you can find them. Find men who are ready to get married. I've had tons of friends I who were engineers who got married before we even graduated. I do, I try. I come from a family where one of my aunts um, has been with her guy since high school. Mm -hmm. And they, f uh, my other, like, aunts and uncles found people in either college or in their, like, jobs. Or even maybe actually high school again, too. So, like, things a little bit obviously different now because of social media, social, social like sociology type stuff and psychological things that have changed over the years but yeah what do you mean are you are you saying that less people are getting married because of what or i'm just confused what you were saying right there like sociological things that are happening like guys are calling other guys simps for caring and being nice to their girlfriends and treating their girlfriends to things and or anything under that thing. And even girls do it to other girls, calling them simps. We're just, you know. They call y'all pick-me's. Hmm? Uh, women call other women pick-me's instead of simps. You know what a pick-me is? It's a little bit different, but my where I'm from, we call just other people simps. Like, it doesn't matter if you're a girl or a guy. But pick-me's... There's also pick me guys, so it's a little bit different than simp, and it's weird, but it is because a simp is just being like overly very caring to someone that you care about, but a pick me is someone who serves for attention. No, no, no. Uh, when okay, when even I'm just coming from a man, when most men are talking about simps, 
they tend to talk about somebody who is caring and all that for women and they're not getting it reciprocated. There was a whole big deal just here with Sup Caitlin, who is part of that thing you're talking about. Sup Caitlin had somebody who she called a Twitch mod on there who would be considered a simp because he literally, he literally let her insult him for an hour and a half just because he likes her. That would be a simp because he's literally getting used for content and for money and he's not going to get anything reciprocated back. And you know what happens to men who become simps? They tend to snap when they turn about 28, 29. And because they're like, I'm getting tired of getting used. And that can go one way or another. That's why we have to teach against simps. Now, we're not talking about men who are in a relationship and taking care of their girlfriend. Because that doesn't make any sense because y'all are dating. So it's obviously going to be reciprocated. Right? We talked about it in our class in sociology. And yes, at once... Some of most of the stuff and some of the stuff, maybe actually not most anymore, used to be that. But now if anyone's in a relationship and is with a girl and is doing like, like instead of, you know, gaming with the boys 24 seven, they go to call their girl. Then you get called a simp. It's like that now. But yeah, like some cases are like what you're saying, because that's originally what it was for, but it's been ostracized and changed so you think the vast majority of men now consider a simp as somebody who cares for his girlfriend we talked about it in sociology I yeah at least i i guess age group because my class is a little bit up and down with age groups and the girl literally said it and everyone was like yeah do y'all talk statistics in there at all like statistically what would they say what did they say you think people take statistics on what people think a simp is? Yes. Really? Yeah? Who? You're in a sociology class. That's exactly what they do. They study people and take statistics. If not, sociology would be useless, wouldn't it? They we study- could all say, well, I feel that this happens. And then people would just socially accept that, right? That's not how that works. It's uh, like a... St- behavior it's not technically like every statistic about like what someone says it's like what the group is doing and saying as a whole not just simp itself but like our language that we use for many things you said the group as a whole right how would you know that the group as a whole is saying that with no numbers well as a class of like 30 and all of us are small class and then I know other people that know about, like, you know, it keeps adding on and adding on because Girl. each of you know other people. And when you ask other people, what does it mean? Because I do get curious after class and I will ask people and they agree, like, yeah, that's what it means. You would get a generalized idea, but you can generalized. look it up. Hmm? What well, you can look it up and see what, like, a simp maybe means to so you think if i look at the word sip right now i'm gonna get any definition that says it's somebody who cares for their girlfriend if you go on urban dictionary yeah yeah let's go to urban dictionary then it's gonna tell me that it's a for a person who cares for their girlfriend it's not like caring for your girlfriend exactly it's like doing like stuff like um what people think is too much the top definition, Urban Dictionary, a simp is someone who does way too much for a person they like. Yep. That's not a girlfriend. That's a person you like. Or would it said girlfriend, wouldn't it? It doesn't necessarily have it, to be exactly a girlfriend. Well, even the next You're definition just, is a guy that is overly desperate for women, especially if she is a bad person or has expressed, di- expressed her disinterest in him, which he continues to obsess about. I'm going with the first one you said. First definition. Keep looking it up. up. See what most of them say. The most votes, 47,711 votes, is the one is someone who does way too much for a person they like. It doesn't matter votes. It's the one that's said mostly out of all of them. I'm I'm going with the one that most people agreed upon. That's what the votes matter. No. If most people voted correct, don't you think that means most people agree with that definition? Correct. 
Wait, what do you mean by... So when you go to Urban Dictionary, you know there's a thumbs up and a thumbs down, right? And the one that you see at the top is the one that most people agreed with. First off, Urban Dictionary is BS because simp isn't technically a real word. You told me to go there. You just said to go there and look it up myself. Because you said to, like, try to get a statistic and that's the best place I could go to, like, to think of, like, where to go. Because I don't know where to go. And then when it didn't... Right, but then when it proved you wrong, you called it BS. No, I said, like, that's the only place I know, once again, to go. Someone who does way too much. A man who puts who puts the hoes before the bros. That's the second a one. That's the that second most voted, though. Over, a word What's the top voted, voted one say? Without the correct definition, it means a guy that is overly desperate for women. That's not a... Women. That's multiple. So that it can't be a girlfriend. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. It is... A male overly submissive to a woman. These definitions are all over. Simp, squirrels, in my pants. You um, told me to go here. I didn't choose this place. Okay, where else would you like to look it up? You can't tell me to understand this, though, madam. You can't tell me to say, hey, look this up here. And then when I do that, you didn't tell me it was BS for me to even look it up. I said where to go, and I'm like, I don't know, maybe. Or I didn't ask you where to go. You said... Look it up at Urban Dictionary, and that's what I did. Do you know what Urban Dictionary is? Yeah. I know. Right. Okay, so Scott, you just trusted me openly and was like, yeah. Because I knew it was going to prove you wrong, and the second it did, you called wow. it BS. I told you, if I, you, I, I, what okay, I said is if, I said, if you look up the word, I said, if you, if, this is what I said. I said, if I look up the word simp, is it going to say a man who cares for his girlfriend? And then you said what? Go look it up on Urban Dictionary. And that's where I went. And then it proved you wrong. It said what I said, and then you called it BS. I'm saying it's BS because you're looking at one of them. The one that was most voted. (laughs) How do you know it's most voted? You look at it. The one at the top is always the one most people agree with. You've never used Urban Dictionary? Oh, down. You can go further down and there's more votes. Okay. I'm literally okay. Right so, okay. Now. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. 47,711 was the top one. The next one is 34,000. Is that more or less? That's less, but there's one underneath it. That's 29,000. Is that more or less? Thousand. Underneath it is not less. I can literally show 29, you. 29,000 is less than 47,000? It is, but 29,000 is not less than 98,000. Man, man that's... it doesn't go like that. You can literally keep scrolling down. There's different numbers for them. None of them top 47,000, though, do they? Yeah, they do, because one's 98,000. 98,000. Which one is that one? Read that's it. The one that's 98,000? Read it. It says, simp, squirrels in my pants. That's 9,800. 9,853. That's not 98,000. That's 9,800. Okay, but still, the, it's more than the 2,900. The top one is, madam, 9,800 is less than 47,000. I know you know okay. that. Okay, yes, I do. Ready? Okay, the one that you're saying is here, right? How many, yeah, ca- how, many does it, no, how many does it say? What's the top the one, one say? The one under that is less. Wait, listen. The one under that is less. The one under that is less, mm-hmm. right? One that is less, but mm-hmm. the one under this one is more. So it doesn't go by that. Madam. It goes by the one that's most used at the moment. Ma'am, so you're going to tell me that somebody, if out of all the people who got on there, let's say a million people voted, if 47,000 went to one of those comments, you, you're trying to say oh, that. sorry, no. It's someone that's more recent, actually. It says March 23rd, 2020. Yeah, a lot of them say 2020. Yeah, but you got to look at the month. It has to do with the month, actually. I didn't know that. So thank you. It actually has to do with the month. Ma'am, you're in college. It doesn't have to do with the votes. So it's, it's you're in college. Right. Yes. There is no way on planet Earth you think that a month apart that something that got 47,000 votes is now you're going to compare that to what February a month okay, earlier? Okay, wait. I have a question. Okay, look, look. Give me the uh, give me the latest. Is two thousand nine hundred and sixty-seven? That was September. More than nine thousand eight hundred and fifty-three. 
Madam. Is that more? That's no? proving you wrong. Because no, the top one. Because, because the top is higher, right? But this one is lower than this one. So it doesn't go by numbers down, down, down. It's different. And if you scroll down, I bet there's one higher than the one at the top. How it much you how much you want to bet that, ma'am? I've used Urban oh, Dictionary plenty I of bet, times. I will I bet, bet you I, I will bet you a hundred dollars right now. You can put it in my cash app and it better be nice and easy. Go find me one that's more than forty seven thousand. Go look through all hundred pages. Go. I guarantee you the number's gonna get even smaller the more pages you go through. Oh, oh, look at that. They do, don't they? Are the numbers getting smaller? Are they starting to get into the triple digits? Don't lie to me because I'm looking at them with you. So don't lie. You're trying to tell me the second page is in the 40,000? It's getting more. Some of them are more than the other ones. Is any of them more than 47,000? Look through all of them. All of them. But your point was that it goes down and it gets less and less. And that wasn't true. That's all. I okay, was hold on. Hold on. So that second page you went to, tell me what the first number was. Go, no, second page, top one. What was the what was the vote number? Hold on. And we're looking at the same thing. So what's the top number? I'm not looking at that. I'm actually literally looking. See, you can't even answer one question, though. The top page. I'm not the, answering a question. You told me to look through all of them. No, I said at the second top. Listen. Oh, my God.